What I want to talk to you about is a simple concept. It's a simple concept, but it's a very powerful concept. Now, this concept is used by all of the people who are wealthy and who are rich. As a matter of fact, if this is all you did, if you follow the advice and if you applied it diligently over time, what you'll find is that you radically change your financial future. It's a simple a simple idea. It's called MSI and it simply means multiple sources of income. If you want to be wealthy you need to have multiple sources of income and by multiple sources of income I'm not referring to income from active sources. I'm not referring to this. I'm referring to income from investment, which will normally come primarily from what we call passive sources or what we call portfolio sources. Passive income and portfolio income come through investments, and income from investments is the key to wealth. Primarily because income from investments, in many cases, with the exception of perhaps the, the, the monthly short period of time you spend managing your portfolio, that's all you invest. Active sources of income, on the other hand, is like having a job. You have to work to get it. Therefore, if you want to be wealthy, you've got to move away from investing your time, your energy, your presence, your efforts and start moving towards you having investments that work for you. Now, multiple plus sources of income is really important because that's how all wealth are created. And this, what I would call philosophy of living, is not really understood by a lot of people. Now, by passive, I'm not referring to you doing nothing. Most people hear about multiple sources of income through passive sources, and they have a picture that all they have to do is sit back and, you know, drink a really cool, nice cup of hot chocolate all day. And every day the cash and the check comes through the mail. I'm not referring to stuff I'm like that. As a matter of fact, I don't believe, I don't believe in that lifestyle. It's not something I teach about and it's not something I would encourage. You see, I believe that life operates by specific laws. And I believe the laws of the universe are precise and perfect. And one of the laws of the universe is the law of cause and effect. In other words, the law of sowing and reaping. Very simple. It simply says, whatever you sow, you reap. And I believe, in my opinion, that in the law of wealth and in the laws of life, subtraction will always come before multiplication. This simply means that to get the promise of the future, you have to pay the price. The promise is guaranteed, but the price must be paid. And the price must be paid in advance, and the price must be paid in full to get the promise. So similarly, although we talk about multiple sources of income, you have to pay a price. You see, wealth is not a passive way of living. It's active. Most people get it wrong. It's active. The only difference is you're using active leverage. Wealth is really a product of using leverage. Most people think, okay, I just need to find uh, an investment and I do nothing. Um, nothing can be further from the truth. Investing is not a, a passive um, choice of you know pursuing financial dreams and desires it's an active um, decision you make now how do you start creating multiple sources of income how do you create it now this is it this is what you do about 97 percent of the population are not born financially free by that, I simply mean they haven't been going to 
good fortune. You haven't inherited a, a huge or substantial amount of money. This means, like the 97%, I used to be there. I'm no longer there, but I used to be there. We all have to start by working for money. But to create multiple sources of income, what you must do is learn to use some of this money, a percentage of this money, and a percentage of your time every day, and you invest this. This becomes what I call capital, seed capital. You invest this seed capital in an idea, in a thought, and you start to create this idea into what we'll call a theory, a concept. And over time, you bring this to reality. You take a portion of what you earn. I'm going to use money in this instance because it's something that we can all measure. You know, time is intangible. You can't measure it. So let me use money as a, as a way of just explaining how this works. Let's assume that you earn a thousand pounds per month. If you were to set aside a portion of what you earn every month, and let's call this 10%, this would mean every month you have um, 100 pounds you set aside every month. This is just an example. Let's also assume in this instance that you've decided that you're going to invest this for the long term. You take this 100 pounds, you invest it in an investment that produces a 10% return you do this consistently every single month over a 50 year period in 50 years time this will become approximately if you factor in inflation and you assume that it's compounding every month or every year you would have more than a million every year if you take you know, if you were to take this 1 million and you then use this as a seed capital remember in this instance what you've done is the principle called compound what you do every month is you take 100 so for example if you had 100 and you invested it at 10% and it compounded every month at the end of the month you have 110 you do the same what you find is if you were to take this 1 million at the end of the 50 year period and invest this 1 million in the same 10 percent return what you find is that this pays you 100,000 pounds every year now the 100,000 pounds every year comes to you as passive income you're not working for it you still have your original seed capital this is passive income money you're not working for that's a simple way of showing you how passive income is generated. You could also take this money, you could buy a business, you can hire people, people work for you, they create a profit. You don't have to invest your time in the business with the exception of the, the managerial, perhaps overview and overseeing, but it's very, very little. It means the business can operate independently without you. That is a passive source of income.